So, a few weeks ago, I had this weird idea for a robotics project. The holidays were approaching, and I wanted to take on something new. I love surprises, both giving them and receiving them. And since it's the season of giving, I thought to myself, what's the best gift I can give that will surprise people? It's a Christmas present box that simultaneously functions as a walking delivery robot. It's been a long year, and I don't know, it just seemed like a fun, creative project to work on. Plus, I had just gotten a new 3D printer, and I was really eager to try it out. I wanted this robot to look like a box when it tucks in its legs. Sort of like how a turtle tucks itself into its shell. So when I was creating the 3D CAD model, I had to design the legs to perfectly align with the walls of the box when retracted. I also needed to make sure there's enough space inside the box to mount the battery, motors, and all other electronics. The whole robot is being powered by this 5000 mAh LiPo battery, which I got a while ago from a previous project I did during my undergrad studies. It might be a bit overkill for this project, but it beats buying a new one, and it's the only battery I have that can supply enough current. I'm using this DC-DC converter to step down the 11.1 volts from the battery to a regulated 5 volts, which is the operating voltage for the rest of the hardware. These servos will be used to drive the motion of the legs, and this Arduino Mega microcontroller acts as the brain for the robot, which runs the code to receive commands wirelessly over Bluetooth and then actuates the servo motors. There are a total of 12 servos on the robot, 3 per leg. This should give each leg enough degrees of freedom to generate a realistic walking motion. The servos at the base allow the entire leg to rotate with respect to the robot, similar to a hip joint. And the third servo rotates the calf with respect to the thigh, similar to a knee. With the design of the CAD model complete, it's time to head over to the 3D printer. The base of the robot consists of two plates. The bottom plate is supported by caster wheels, which can hold the weight of the robot. And these wheels provide the robot stability while still allowing the robot to move and rotate in all directions. The plates are separated by these modified I-beams, which have an additional flat surface that will eventually be used to support the walls of the gift box. The top plate will then be the mounting point for all the internal electronics. Next, the legs will be assembled. I designed these brackets to connect each pair of servos at the hip joint. This allowed for one compact joint that provides rotation about two perpendicular axes. The calves of the leg are designed with 90 degree angled surfaces to match the box shaped profile of the robot, and the thighs are kept small enough so that there's no interference when the legs retract. So I have a leg of the robot assembled here, and if everything goes well, then we should see this thing start moving. Oh. Okay, it's jittering a bit. There were a few timing issues with my code, but eventually things started to move. Next, I needed to teach the robot how to use its legs to walk. To do this, I wrote a script simulating the movement of the robot. I first generate a kinematic model of the robot with all of its legs and joints. The script generates a path for each foot to follow based on one of four basic motions. Walk forward. Walk backward. Rotate clockwise. And rotate counterclockwise. I can change different parameters to manipulate the walking pattern, such as getting the robot to take larger steps forward, or getting the robot to lift its feet higher off the ground. Once satisfied with the simulation, the script uses inverse kinematics to solve for the angles at each servo at several points in time. I can then export these calculated angles to a file, which I can program into the robot, and that way it should know exactly how to actuate its motors in order to walk. Or maybe not. In theory, everything looked great in simulation, so how come things fell apart when trying to move the robot in real life? Well, for starters, I assembled some of my servos in the wrong orientation, 
So this, this one particular leg sort of flailed about aimlessly. Another issue was that the weight of the servos was slightly bending the plastic plate at the leg's mounting point. This resulted in the robot dragging its feet along the ground, since it was not lifting its feet high enough to take a step. Increasing the step height in simulation and recomputing the joint angles fixed this issue. The last problem was related to friction, as in there wasn't enough of it. Even though the robot was properly executing a walking motion, it wasn't going anywhere because there wasn't enough traction. And this was one of the downsides to using the caster wheels. Because they were designed to take most of the weight, there was not enough load on the robot's legs to create a sufficiently large friction force when walking. I tried coating the feet in hot glue and letting it dry because I figured it would create more friction with the wood floor than the 3D printed plastic. It worked initially, but after the glue fully dried and hardened overnight, it was no longer enough to propel the robot forward. I also considered attaching thick rubber bands at the bottom of the robot's feet to create friction, but I didn't have any of those around the house, so I never got to test this theory. Instead, I ended up sticking double-sided tape on the robot's feet, so the robot was literally sticking to the floor as it walked. <laughs> it works. It works. It wasn't the most ideal solution, but the holidays were fast approaching, so it'll have to do. I then added an HC05 Bluetooth module to my robot so that I could control it from my phone using a free to download app. The last step was to mount the walls to complete the box and finally wrap up this project. Literally. Verifying once more that all the walking motions still work, all that's left to do is slide this present under the tree and wait. It's a present. Ah! <laughs> Closer. Okay. Yeah, just rip the top page. Aww. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> This might take a while. Hi! What's his name? Uh, Boxy. Oh. All in all, Boxy the Christmas robot was a hit. And even though the tape started to lose its grip near the end, all gifts were successfully delivered. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed building this robot. I plan to make more robotics and engineering videos like this in the future, so if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.